Hey there, and welcome to this video about how we could uh, sort objects in Java. I'm going to try to show you here how you can take a custom object that you have defined in Java uh, and sort it based on uh, some criteria that you have, um, some of the properties of the objects, and um, also how you can, uh, how you can input uh, different uh, sorting parameters. So we don't need to sort it by the same property each time. But first, we need to make uh, we need to make a new project here. So let's make a new project and let's just make it a Java application. Call it Fun with Sorting. That seems nice. And I'm just gonna get my brain with me here. Next and Fun with Sorting. Right. So we have a project here now, and let's just zoom a bit to this. Okay, so uh, we have the main method here, and the first thing we need to do is actually to make some sort of um, object, make a class that we can use uh, to sort. So if we make a Java class, call it, let's just take cars. Uh, so we define a class called car, get a new class here remove this one here and then we let's just imagine what we want to have let's imagine that we have let's just have a brand <clears throat> so that could be BMW or what what uh, Volkswagen or for sure Ferrari yeah that's a good one private string model so that could be uh, M5, that could be a Golf, whatever. Um, maybe we should have, we should have a color. That seems uh, logical here. A car has a color. Red, green, blue, whatever. And let's just get the final one here. If we get, let's have a top speed. Right. So we got the properties for our car here. Uh, to speed up things just a little bit, um, let's just create all the get and setters here. <coughs> so we got all the get and setter methods here, and we also need to have a constructor. Uh, I'm just going to make the constructor here. Let's take everything all right so we have uh, we have a car class defined now we got the blueprint of a car we could add much more things to this but um, this is okay for now okay so we can create a car uh, car one uh, new car let's make this a Volkswagen uh, let's say this is a golf GGE whatever uh, yeah, it should be blue as the sky. What? How? What is the top speed? Something like this. Yeah. Um, let's just make a couple of cars here. Mm -hmm. What should be? It should be visual. Oh, there's a lot of th models available here. <laughs> yeah, this should be really green. Really green. Okay, so I don't know if the top speeds will be okay, but that is this is just test data. BMW. BMW three series black. Yeah, that's the fast one there. Oh, maybe too fast. Okay. Um final one. Yeah, we probably need to have a Tesla as well. Model S. Oh, what should that be? It should be red one. Uh, I think it's fast. Okay, so to keep this in, um, add this to a list, uh, let's just use an array list of cars. And let me 
need to put the generic in here as well. Car. Okay. So we're going to edit. Uh, if I can make this work. Yeah, we need to kind of. We need to make the import for array list to make it work. And do I have an error here? Uh, oh, I made a spelling error there. Array list. So now we can add a car. So let's just take number one here. Okay, so we got the cars added to our list here. Uh, just really, really quickly, let's just output this uh, in a for loop, just to see that that we can actually make it work here, okay? That we have a list. So I'm just going to put C here, because we're iterating through the car, our car list, and uh, for each of the items, we're going to make a variable called C that we can output. Uh, all right, let's see what happens here. It's going to compile it and let's run it. So we can see that we actually have we actually have this um, list of cars, but it looks pretty uh, not so f human friendly here. And the reason why we have such an output is we haven't implemented the two string method on the car. All right. A uh, quick way to do this is uh, to use the built-in feature in NetBeans, say insert code, we're going to implement the toString. And yeah, let's just output all the properties of the class here. So we have the car brand, model, color, blah, blah. So let's build it again. Let's see if we have something more. Yeah, so we, now we can see we got the, the list here with the cars, uh, the Golf and the show and BMW Model S. Okay, um, if I want to sort this, I could collections. Um, let me look here. Collections and sort. And the collection um, is kind of a helper class. Let's see if we got the collections there and. Uh, we can see already now that we get an error. It will take a, a list as a parameter, the sort method, but if I compile this, I get an error here because it says that no suitable method found for sort. So the sort method is not able to actually sort the objects in my list here. Okay, what is wrong with that? Why is that? Um, this is usually because I haven't told Java or my program how it should sort a car. So I'm going to do this in the next video. We're going to implement uh, the needed code to actually tell the program how should you sort two different objects. All right. Have fun with this. Bye-bye.